Hey guys, Daniel here again coming at you with yet another video through God's grace. As I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail or by the title, this one's going to be a pretty short one. We're just talking about internet providers for ATMs. So pretty simple, doesn't need a lot of explaining. ATMs need internet. They need internet to process transactions, to take uh, the money that somebody just took out from their bank account and put it into yours. They need to make sure that, that the customer even has uh, money in their bank account to take out. So it needs internet to do that, not by brain surgery. There's really two main ways um, that people use internet for their ATMs. One is buying its own separate modem that goes inside the ATM itself. It has its own separate internet connection. It does its own thing. It's completely independent from anything else. And then the other way is using the business owner's uh, internet modem to, to do the transactions. The one that I definitely recommend is having its own dedicated separate modem that goes inside the ATM. Um, there are a few pros and cons to that. Number one is you have to buy the modem, um, right? So it's gonna cost you a little more money to do that, but in the long run, I think it makes much more sense um, for a few different reasons. Number one, uh, you don't have to rely on the business owner's internet to be, to be working. Um, you know, sometimes they forget to pay the bill, sometimes their internet goes down, whatever, being, like all these things can happen um, when you rely on somebody else's internet in any way, shape or form. Um, also, uh, to do to use somebody else's internet, like to use like an actual like home router or something, you have to get a special uh, kind of like Ethernet cable that goes from the ATM and physically connects into somebody's router. Um, so that just means that it's another. You have to buy something either way. So you have to buy like a really long cord, depending on where the router is versus where the ATM is in the business, and then that will have to physically connect and run through. It could run through the whole business um, for all depending on where you place the ATM and where the router's, the router's at. So that might be something you might have to like staple up against the wall or you know do something like that. So it's kind of more intensive in that way. Whereas if you buy the router that goes inside the ATM, you don't have to worry about any of that. It goes inside the ATM, nobody sees it, nobody knows it's there. There's no physical wires that come out of the ATM. Um, it's just cleaner that way. Um, but also you, you just don't have to depend on, on them. And actually, um, it could be a good thing uh, for the in that case if you have your own modem it could actually be a good thing uh, for the the owners of the business owners internet to go out because that means they can't make card transactions anymore uh, card processors need internet too to to um, process their transactions when somebody's using a card to purchase something um, so if their internet goes out well now this now guess what they just became a cash only business in in a few minutes um, and so they either close down completely or they take cash only. And guess who's the only option available for you? A lot of people just probably don't carry around cash. So now for convenience sake, if they wanna buy anything from that business, they gotta go to your ATM because now the internet is down for the, for the business owner and you can't process uh, cards. So there's a bunch of different places you can buy a modem for an ATM. Um, you do wanna get one that's specifically for an ATM. You, you're not gonna go out and buy like a home router or a twenty dollar router um, that you would use in your house. It doesn't doesn't work the same way. Um, it's a uh, when you get one that goes in the ATM, it's both a modem and a router at the same time and, and all in one unit. Um, and it's specifically for ATMs. It, it's just like a cell phone, right? You have to buy the hardware, so you have to buy the phone itself, and you have to pay monthly for the service to keep it going. Same thing with an, an ATM modem. You have to buy the hardware, you have to buy the actual modem, and you have to pay monthly for the service. But what's good about those is that you're not paying anywhere near what you would pay like for your phone or for your home internet. Um, it's really cheap. Like the, the guys that I use, the internet provider that I use is like eight bucks a month for the internet because to be honest, they're not, it's not like really intensive for them. Um, it's, you're just, they're doing one thing. They're only processing transactions through one machine, through that ATM. It's not like, uh, you know, pe people can't connect to your modem um, through Wi-Fi, it has it only does it through a physical connection that's inside the ATM, and they're really easy to hook up. There's only like two wires, guys. It's just the the power and then the actual Ethernet that plugs into the ATM itself. They do have antennas that come out and go on top of the ATM that are magnetic, just so it has a better connection. Um, but they're really, really, really simple. You just you, you plug them in and they're ready to go. But they are specifically dedicated to specifically ATMs. Um, so there are providers out there 
that do that. Um, the big ones that, that like we normally use for like our phone services don't do it. Like AT and T doesn't do it. Verizon doesn't do it. Like the like the big ones that you think of when you think of internet, um, they don't do like ATMs and stuff like that. You have to go to a specific ATM modem provider. Um, and so if you want to look around, um, you can do that yourself and find one yourself, or you can just uh, go to my ATM bundle and you can buy that. You can either buy that in a, in a bundle itself, or I sell the ATM vendors all in one thing. So it'll be uh, where to buy the ATM from, who to use as a processor and the internet provider all in one document. Um, and I give options for everything except for the internet provider, because to be honest, the one that I use is really great. It's cheap. It's month to month, which is which is exactly what you want. It's another non-time committed um, contract in any way. Uh, so you don't have to, if you don't like them for whatever reason, then you just cut it off and you go with somebody else that you want to do. Um, but it's only eight bucks a month. I think it was like a hundred and, you had to pay a little bit for shipping. It's like 10 bucks for shipping. So with everything put together, it's probably like $130 for the modem itself. Um, or you can actually rent to lease from the specific internet provider that I have, um, which means that for two years, you're paying off the modem. Um, so for that two years, you actually don't own the modem, but as soon as that two years is up, you've actually paid off the modem and you own it now. Um, so you could either pay nothing up front and then have a, an extra charge. I think it's like an extra $11 a month for two years, or you can just pay the whole $130 up front, you now own it, and then you just pay the eight bucks a month uh, for the service. So that's pretty much it today, guys. It was a pretty short one. It's pretty simple, but it is an essential part of the ATM business. You need internet. Uh, so please like and subscribe on the video. Um, I really appreciate it. And God bless you. We'll see you in the next one.